Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Car Q, and around this time last year, I showed 10 underrated combos you should try in Overwatch, which are still really good. Link is in the description. This time around though, I lost some weight, got some sleep, put on my glasses, and uh, here's a couple more combos you can try. This combo video was sponsored by Opera GX. Opera GX is the world's first gaming browser, and it's useful because of GX Control. What's GX Control, CarQ? Glad you asked. This tab here allows you to limit your computer's CPU and RAM usage to a level you're happy with so that you can game confidently while keeping your browser open because, let's face it, we all probably have Chrome open with multiple tabs during our gaming sessions, but look at the difference in its usage. Opera GX is easy to set up and has a nice dark aesthetic to it, letting you choose the accent colors and background with some other really cool features. This here is called GX Corner so that you can find some sweet deals, see the newest releases, and keep up with gaming news all in one place. It also has Twitch integration so that you can log in and get instant notifications when your favorite Pokemon, I mean Overwatch streamer, goes live. Best of all, it has a free ad blocker and an integrated VPN built in, so you can watch shows that are only accessible in other countries, for example, and of course, browse securely. Opera GX is all free, download it with a link in the description, and let's get the combos started. The first combo is what I call Fly Noon. This one's fairly easy to understand. The moment you use High Noon as McCree, have your friendly Mei lift you up with her ice wall to get a better angle. This was used a lot in the Overwatch League earlier this year when Mei was meta and played by both teams. If an enemy Mei were to wall your team off, the responding team, or the team that was able to wall second, was able to set this combo up to counter the first wall and surprise them with the dead eye. Trying to get around the ice wall, gets boosted up as well! Whoa! Great play to take down Raucus. In the past, Baptiste would typically use his ultimate for himself, playing near the tanks while a Widowmaker would be off on a different angle. But now that the ultra-wide Baptiste window is literally the size of most choke points as of November 2020, combo number two here is what I like to call the window maker. Try to actively combo your Baptiste window with your Widow because Widow has a 2.5 times damage headshot multiplier at full charge when compared to a body shot. That's 120 damage for a body shot and 300 damage for a headshot. Now, if you add the two times damage multiplier from Baptiste's window, you're getting a 600 damage headshot, which is enough to one shot almost every hero in the game except D.Va and Hammond because of armor. The third combo I have for you is called the wall bang. This doesn't quite have the same meaning like you're probably thinking, but in Overwatch, this is the next closest thing where you bang your enemies into the wall using Reinhardt's charge or Doomfist's rocket punch. The idea here is that if your Rhine or Doom were to connect on these abilities, your friendly Mei can put up a wall to shorten the travel distance, preventing Rhine from going too far into enemy lines or Doomfist's target from not reaching the wall for double damage. Alternatively, if you don't want to bang your enemies against a wall, for Reinhardt specifically, you can bang them into an Orisa using Fortify, bang them into a supercharger, bang another Rhine, and even bang them into Torb, Yorn's turret. For combo number four, I call this one Pillow Talk because this one's all about working around your Ana sleep dart. If she lands it on any target with a lot of HP or an escape ability, you want to use your abilities that have impact damage beside the sleeping target so that you can deal a faster burst damage before they can react. It's easier to show you with an example. This is what happens when you use Echo Sticky Bombs on a Sleeping Reaper. Each one does 5 damage on impact, but that initial impact damage allows the Reaper to wake up and wraith out before you can kill him. Now if you combo this correctly by using the bombs beside him, you can take advantage of that initial splash damage burst to time a primary fire with it and confirm the kill before you can do anything. This combo is really important to know for Tracer as well since her pulse bomb has initial stick damage. Just place it beside the target like so. And even Junkrat with his trap. Place it beside the sleeping tank so that you can use the first grenade to wake them up and boop them into the trap so that they're already down 120 health before being trapped at all. 
Combo number five is Your Order Has Arrived, which is a fast delivery service of your choice of ability through Symmetra's TP. There is so much potential when setting up a Diva Bomb, for example. Just stand over it as Symmetra, pick another spot on the map so that the TP gets directly placed down to give the enemies an instant bomb delivery. If the teleporter is already down beforehand, you can send any ability through it as long as it touches it, slide your bomb through it, send Bob through it, or even a rip tire, as we've seen yeah, in the Overwatch that's a really League. Cool teleporter, actually. One side is behind the shield, the other goes to the point, it allows these rotations to be much quicker. Whoa, that was a very far back tire from Birdring. Oh, you see the TP? Oh, it gets four! Birdring gets four kills with the tire, and the Toronto Defiant have no idea what just happened. Combo number six, real simple, it's called Walk the Dog. And I didn't come up with this name, it was in the comments of the previous combo video, which I thought was hilarious. Just like it says though, this involves using D.Va's defense matrix and you follow and protect your friendly Junkrat tire so that it can safely detonate without it being destroyed. That's it. These days, Orisa is usually paired with Sigma for the double shield and we haven't seen much of the classic Orisa hog pulled pork combo over the last few patches. But let me introduce you to the next closest thing in combo number 7, the ball and chain. What is the ball and chain you may ask? Well, it's a restraint device used on prisoners up until recent history, but if we're talking Overwatch, this is where you run the wrecking ball and Roadhog tank lineup. The ball sets up for a pile drive to lift enemies up into the air so that Roadhog can land an easy and reliable hook. Combo number 8 is what I like to call the shiny Venomoth, where you intentionally nano boost your Mercy in her ultimate form. Look at it, the resemblance is uncanny. Now this isn't the most ideal nano boost target when you're playing Ana, but it's actually not as bad as you think. When Mercy is in Valk, she's constantly regenerating 20 health per second, and nano boost gives her 50% damage reduction. This means it would take over 400 damage and then some to outdo the constant 20 HP regeneration to kill her. And not to mention she has insane flying mobility which makes her ridiculously hard to hit. The nano also allows her to go for riskier reses deep in the enemy back lines, stall the point, and even whip out her pistol for that unlimited ammo action. Combo number 9 is what I call Gravity Falls. With a new addition to Sigma to the game last year, there have been so many interesting combos you can pull off with his Gravitic Flux. Instead of listing each one individually on this combo list, I'll just throw a bunch of notable ones in here to get the gears turning in your head. There's Gravity Balls, which is the Gravitic Flux into Hammond Mines below. You've got the Gravitic Noon, High Noon anyone lifted up. You've got Gravitic Diva Bomb. Blizzard. Dragon. and even Echo's focusing beam since it does 4 times damage once enemies are at half health and, well, enemies are at half health after the flux. The list goes on, get creative with it. And finally, combo number 10 is a little bit of a meme, but if you watch the Rhine charge for every map video, you may have seen it before. This combo is what I like to call running in the 90s, which only works on Oasis City Center and only requires Zarya and the car. Everyone knows the car instantly kills you on this map if you run into it but Zarya's bubble allows you to survive the head-on collision. What you want to do is use the momentum of the car and jump just as it makes impact with the Zarya bubble on you so that you survive and you will go flying. Like I said before, I showed this off with Liam and a Reinhardt charge, but you can get really creative with it and do something disgustingly hilarious and go for something like a Zarya grab into a McCree high noon from the top ropes. Guaranteed front page top uploaded clip let me know if any of you guys pull this off in a real game. And that's it for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit the like button, the thumbs up, subscribe, subscribe to the second channel where I upload gameplay videos and other random stuff, and of course, my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash carq.